All right, all right, all right. What's up, guys? Hope y'all had a good day of trading. I actually had a decent day of trading. Um, I'm kind of getting into something different. I'm getting into futures right now. If y'all didn't know, I was doing options and uh, like options, but I'm kind of digging futures, man. I don't. I like the no expiration date, the no time decay. Uh, I'm really kind of liking that. So I'll let y'all know. I'll keep y'all updated on how that's going. Um, but anyway, I'm still in a position on Tesla. Uh, I do have a swing call. I'm holding until uh, I think January 28th or something like that. So I'm I'm anticipating this thing to go up. And so uh, I think a lot of people are, especially after today. So let's get into what happened today, man. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to rewind. And since I hadn't did a video since I think Monday, uh, I want to talk about what we saw um, ha kind of happened the past few days and then, and then I'll get into today and then I'll get into, um, where I think we're going to go from here, man, which is, uh, you should, you should definitely stick around and hear that part of the video. So what we saw, um, on Tuesday through, I'll say Thursday, um, we kind of saw some, some, uh, just some choppy, choppy action for the most part. We ended up kind of getting this, uh, let me get a tool going. We ended up kind of getting this, like this wedge sort of thing here uh, that that was really bad let me so i see if i can trace it a little better so we got kind of that wedge formation right there you'll see i have it i have these uh blue lines here and uh basically we guys all we did today was touch the uh, bottom of that wedge and then as you can see we just we exploded so i personally i think tesla is uh been way overdue for uh, uh, some sort of a rally um, and guys what we saw today was not a rally this I mean yes it was a rally in the short term but it was not the rally that we're looking for you know what I mean it's it, it we still have more room to go up you know and so um, you know with that being said guys let's let's kind of I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I want to I want to really look and see uh, what we have going here all right, so this this candle right here is a typical um, reversal kind of setup there. So um, yeah, I, I wasn't too concerned when I saw this candle. I was like, okay, so the next candle is green. Uh, we got a good shot to go up, and then sure enough, we did. Also, I want to I want to show you guys if you can see. I'm zooming a little bit closer. We are in the after hours getting this um, cross here, which we hadn't seen since uh maybe a few days ago we crossed here came back crossed here and i've normally when that happens guys i've seen it happen this happen before uh but typically when we get across like that in whatever direction like here when it crossed up it really the stocks really they want to go in that direction you know what i mean they don't really want to come and then cross right back and then cross up they don't really like doing that however they will do that especially if news is bad or you know or you know just things are choppy in general they will do that but here we go we have another cross here and this could be very well be the cross that gives us the actual move that we're looking for we head up and then you can see this is the 200 sma this is coming as well and if we get that cross guys it's a wrap it's a wrap we are heading up higher to the 140s 150s and ultimately you know we will you know slowly kind of make our way back up to um that 177 area and then beyond from there 180 and beyond from there so what i do want to show you guys um before i get off of here um and this is this is all good news this is really good stuff um this is what we want to see uh with our stock I want to go to the market. I want us to look at that again. I think if you watched the last video, I talked about what I thought would happen here. And, uh, hold on. Yeah. Talked about what I thought would happen here and what I thought was going to happen actually happened. Um, we ended up breaking out of this wedge to the upside here. And as you can see, nice move up, really, really nice move up. Now, as you also can see, we have a little distance to go here before we get to this red trend line here, which is a macro trend line, which I've had drawn for, you know, at least a month or two now. Right. Um, 
my opinion, I think the market is going to go back up to retest this uh, this trend line. OK. Um, and also, I do think there is a gap that we need to fill over here. So I think the market ultimately wants to go up and close that gap here. Now, after we close that gap, it's it's anybody's game. You know, uh, anybody's game, bears, bulls, it's anybody's game. We could either come back down, could be a false breakout, or we could actually see the beginning of this reversal uh, start to ha play out. Right. Um, personally, I I'm not going to say, you know, what I think is going to happen, because honestly, I don't really know if we're going to what we're going to decide to do once we fill this gap. I don't know. Like no one knows, really. So my <laughs> if my opinion um, I would not be surprised if we have seen the bottom of, you know, this little uh, pullback that we've seen in the market. I'm Let me zoom out to the daily chart. Um, guys, we if you look here, we had a nice run up. We had a nice let me get the tool going. We had a nice run up all the way, all the way to, you know, there. And it was only right for us to have a pullback. OK, um, <clears throat> one thing I think is very, very um, interesting. If you have made it to the, this far in the video, I appreciate you, by the way. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this is somewhat beneficial to you. All right. Back to what I was saying. Um, one thing I do want to point out is we have look, look, this is this is so cool. Right. And I'm so happy to see this. We have bam. We have that low point right and then guess what else we have bam we have followed by an, a higher uh low right so we have our high our high right here right so what we are could possibly be seeing guys and this is this this is this is good stuff like this is really good stuff um what we pot let me delete i want to delete this if i can i didn't want to really zoom in but i'll zoom in some um okay what we possibly have here, guys, is just a simple higher high, higher, higher low situation. We got our high right there. We're coming down to our higher low. And then you know what happens after that. You go and you create a new higher high, higher low, higher high. Same, you know, that's just that's just basic, you know, basic analysis of the way stocks and price uh, price moves. Right. Basic, just basic stuff. Right. So we we you know, it's looking like the market has kind of found this uh, this higher low here, which is also considered a pivot. So the only way we'll know this is a pivot is if we can actually make this higher high above this area right here, right? So honestly, guys, it looks like that's what we're trying to do. What could possibly hinder that is the Fed meeting, I believe, next week. Let's see. Yeah, uh, right here. Fed Chair Jerome Powell speaks in Sweden. Uh, so next week, um, Tuesday, uh, I think what he said... I Every time he gets up and speaks, is it's very important. Um, but if he gets up and says some some dovish things, man, uh, it's a wrap. You know, the market is going to resume uh, going back up uh, in this year. And people are thinking this year is going to be like a down year and all this type of stuff. Me personally, guys, normally when you see a pullback happen, it's like typically it's like half of the move up, if that makes sense. Um I need to delete some stuff here. I think it's getting kind of crowded. Let me see. Um, the pullback, guys, like I'm saying, we had this, follow my cursor, we had this big move up, right? And if, now it's only right for us to get a pullback, right? Which we, we, we've we gotten the pullback, and this pullback has pulled back about 50%. Let's see. If I draw a Fibonacci, I'm going to do a Fibonacci uh, retracement here. And let's see. I'm going to do it from here. So let's say the, the the high up here, right there, bam. Okay, and I'm gonna delete this so we can just kind of see things a little bit better. All right, look where we retraced to from the, this high up here, guys. We retraced all the way to this fifty percent area, right? And what did we do? We bounced up. We bounced off this 50% area 
and and look at where we are today. We are at this 0.38% Fibonacci retracement. So if you're looking at this Fibonacci retracement, this is basically saying that we are probably going to hit this 0.23 area, this area here. We're going to hit this area next, right? Which would be a higher high, right? So um, all that to say, guys, we're looking good. If I compare this to or if I go by this and I'm looking at Tesla, that can only mean one thing, guys. And that can only mean that Tesla is on its way back up. OK, and we already know Tesla has fell so much. I mean, every time you thought that we were going to get some relief, it just fell again. Um, and so, you know, Tesla is not going to go. I mean, we didn't honestly, I don't know how many people thought it was going to go this low. Maybe there are some, but I think most people did not really think we would we would see 100. Um, and we saw 100 pretty much. We saw 101, I think. But we saw 100. It's close enough. Right. Um, and so I just think that, you know, this is a ridiculous price, a uh, ridiculous price for a Tesla right now. So uh, just using some common sense, man, this is ridiculous. Um, I think this is a great opportunity, man, to 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 um, stack up, even if we fall again, if we break through 100, which I honestly don't know if that will do, especially if Fed news comes in good next week. Um I don't think we're going to break through 100. I'd be surprised. I'm not saying we can't. We might. But even if we do, we're in great territory, man, to to, to stack up on some more Tesla. So for me, I'm just kind of hoping that Tesla will go up enough to where I can make a little profit, uh, get out, and then kind of re, uh, figure out where to get back in at and then ride that thing back up, man. So really good stuff, man. Really excited for where we are headed uh, with Tesla, I hope you guys are excited as well. I know it's been a rocky uh, ride, rocky road, um, and you know we 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 just kind of we've been waiting for some relief, and I think we are going to see it very soon. Um, one thing, one other thing, I do want to mention about Tesla that I'm looking at right now. Um, this macro, this blue trend line that I have drawn. If you follow my cursor. As you guys have known, even on the last video, pretty much on all the videos, I'm always talking about this macro trend line. And so we need to break through this trend line. So that's going to be very important. Um, by the time we get there, it might be around 113 or 116 or something like, I don't know, anywhere between 113 and 117 or something. 116, I'm sorry, um, we, we will be testing uh, that trend line. That's going to be very important. Because we could we could hit that trend line and go up or we get that trend line and drop right back down to here, you know, somewhere in here, which would be at 100 again um, or around 100. You know, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes for me, obviously hoping that we can kind of get that breakout. Um, but if not, you know, we're still fine. And at this point, guys, we're so low. We're just, you know, listen, we're just waiting for this thing to go back up. Uh, I'm going to quit rambling. I feel like I'm rambling now. Listen, thank y'all for uh, watching. If you made it all the way to the end, man, please subscribe. Like if you if you've made it to the end, you got to subscribe uh, like the video, guys. I definitely appreciate that um, thousand dollar giveaway coming when I get to a thousand subscribers. Just going to throw that in there and uh, that's going to be it, man. Thank y'all for watching again um, till next time. Peace.